DJ, DJ, Eric J. Andre Leon Talley. And most of you guys know who he is. He's like a fashion designer. He worked for Anna Winter and stuff like that. He had a lot of culture in um, the fashion industry. And it's been going around that he basically lost his, losing his house and he owes back rent of $500,000, you guys. And basically he went to social media today to tell people that they did not need to send money to a GoFundMe that he put up. Um, not he put up, but someone else put up for him um, to help pay for his expenses man it's crazy um and it says he says in this post he said i cannot thank you all enough for the outpouring of love and concern i am healthy in mind and spirit and i'm quite grateful for many messages from dear friends and extended communities as probably as many as you probably know from uh chiffon trenches i've experienced in many peaks and valleys in my life and remain quite resilient he also came out and says in the matter uh, the matter we are dealing with is unfortunate but we uh will be handling a very capable legal team with a very capable legal team um, at this time. He also went on and said to uh, King Smith and the people who put up the GoFundMe and those who have contributed, I appreciate the thoughtful gesture and generosity, but it is completely unnecessary. Now, Andre Leon Talley is about 72, I believe, and it's unfortunate that he's going through this financial hardship, but this is something, a lesson for a lot of people out there and particularly black people is to know your value you know what i'm saying trust your value because i don't believe you know seeing that he's an elderly man and he worked on the likes of people like anna winter who's made a hundred millions and millions of dollars uh, for the work that he's done um, why is it that he's 72 years old and he's about to be evicted from his own home this is that's the stuff that got me concerned got me thinking like yo what like what's the deal with that like what you know what i mean but this this is a lesson for black people out there who works in the music industry is to never devalue yourself it's okay to rub shoulders with people it's okay to network yourself but never ever devalue yourself and not get the money that you deserve for the work that you do don't give out freebies to people it's okay to talk to people it's okay to network with people but understand when people are trying to bring you in for business understand that it's business and make sure you apply your value make sure you apply your value and make sure that you get what's yours because you got to pay your bills. You got to keep a roof over your head. And once the time passes and you don't have nothing left, there's no one else trying to help. And they got a whole gun, go fund me up. Where's all the fashion girls at right now that could possibly help this man? He has contributed to the culture in, in this in this industry. This black guy has contributed to the culture. He's done did some phenomenal things for a lot of models and everything else who's millionaires now. And is it their responsibility? how he swindles his money allegedly or maybe mishandled his his finances no but it's also just saying like how many times have he uh possibly could have got paid for something or possibly may have not got paid what he was worth working amongst people especially being like the only black person that i noticed that was behind the scenes in the fashion industry a gay black guy doing his thing you know what i mean so this is something that people in the, in the industry need to pay attention to and we're going to get deeper into that you guys um and we're going to talk about it we're going to talk about the value in this community because there was another uh person who was a comedian um also who came out recently um from let me see the lady that played whitney houston on mad tv uh com let me just, let me just go on here real quick because this time we really got to talk about seriously um it's not good So, yeah, so, I mean, just thinking about it, I was just thinking about, like, Deborah Wilson from Mad TV, who came out and basically was talking about how she basically carried the show, Mad TV, from the beginning of its inception for an entire, near, near a decade, and they wouldn't raise her salary, but then her, you know, white male counterparts came in, and they were giving them way more money than what they gave her and they still refused to pay her what she was worth so she left the show this isn't new this is stuff that happens behind the scenes of hollywood it's important for us as black people in the entertainment industry to know our worth no matter who we're working for whether it's for white people it's for black people knowing our worth another thing we i've seen also was taraji p henson only got paid forty thousand dollars for benjamin button which made probably like probably six hundred million dollars in the box office now am i saying that her network was still 
feel kind of low, so maybe that's why she bargained so low. But I could feel like maybe she could have got her six herself six figures. I, I think she might have deserved six figure. It's so many things, you know, when it comes to doing entertainment that I noticed that a lot of people out here is richly broke. They're rich and they're broke. And the thing is, is that that is like my biggest nightmare. You know, I'm average, right? I'm doing all right. You know, but I don't want to be a person who's rich and I'm mean, richly broke, which means I'm famous and I'm broke. I don't want to be that person. I want to make sure that my finances is together. And this is something that you should not feel guilty about what you demand and what you need. Because if people need your resources, which is going to help them propel and bring in income on their end, you should value yourself as well and understand what you're bringing to the table and try to negotiate something so you are not destitute. If you are not destitute, then you won't be out here working for free, y'all. Come on now. It's got to be better. Something got to give on some real stuff. And it's just unfortunate. This is what it's coming to in Hollywood. And I'm seeing people that I've watched that's been in the industry for 20, 30 years who's in serious financial hardship. And I'm talking about particularly black people black entertainers, male and female, who refuse to ask for their worth. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I'd rather work for myself for free and get my money independently with a little bit I can get versus me building and making something and not having anything to show for it in the end because I got hired for a job and it wasn't worth it in the end. So we gotta really just watch ourselves as, as black people in the entertainment industry, just as in Hollywood and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The way they did Deborah Wilson, she was hilarious. She carried the show, Matt TV. I watched that growing up just to see her perform and they did her dirty. They didn't pay her what she was worth. That's not right. You know what I mean? So, you know, you guys tell me what you guys think about it, you know? Tell me what y'all think about this whole um, Andre Leon Talley situation. It's really sad. Um, I hope he's not being too prideful for help. If people are trying to help you, Mr. Talley, I would say take it. You've been in the industry for like 50 years, almost 40 something years. You've been doing this. You're old. You know what I mean? Let them save your property and don't, don't downgrade the donations. If you can get a donation, take it. Don't be ashamed of it. Do what you got to do to keep your property. And um, Deborah Wilson, I don't think, I don't know if she acts anymore. I know that she was on her show on the comedy hype, but she really basically was just saying that she was kind of like bowed out of that phase of her life. But I'm wishing her well as well. And I hope Taraji Pinson, I hope you know your worth worth now, Taraji. And I hope you're not taking deals for forty thousand dollars no more. I know you're not, but don't let these people play you. Get what you want and get what you need to survive out here, cause it's hard. It's hard. And with that being said. I think I went through all my hot topics today. Oh, yeah. Danny Lay got dragged by A um, Akbar V, okay? Because she said all this stuff going on uh, with this whole colorism and this yellow bone is what he wants and the baby dumping her and everything else. And that was a whole mess, okay? Um, and now the chickens come to roost. Akbar V was calling her out on it. It was just one big spill. Y'all need to check out that gossip also on DJJericapod.com. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Do y'all really think Danny Lee um, is a colorist? And do y'all feel Akbar V was right for calling her out and calling her out for being a colorist and just saying like, yo, you ain't nothing, basically. Um, I think that's the last news report that I got for now. Um, and everybody that's out here, I appreciate you guys for checking me out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you guys like what you hear, if you guys enjoy my podcast, make sure you keep subscribing and supporting, man. I'm out here pumping out these videos for you guys. Working really, really hard. I appreciate y'all. And like I said, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Y'all take care of yourself and much love, everybody. Much love. If you guys are on YouTube, subscribe on I, oh, excuse me. If you guys are on YouTube, subscribe right now. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, subscribe right now. Leave your ratings on Apple Podcasts. Leave a, a review on Apple Podcasts. And Spotify, make sure you guys leave your comments and share. I'm at DJJ Erica, website DJJericapod.com. And at the DJJ Erica Podcast. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Leave a comment, y'all. Leave a comment. Help me push up the algorithm on YouTube. I need y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Much love. Peace.